Turn to page 298 in your science textbook. Remember, while you're listening, you can always hit pause to read the words more carefully, fill in the blanks on your study guide, or rewind to listen to something again. Have you ever looked through colored glass? How does colored glass change the way an object looks? How does light affect the color you see? Turn to page 300. How do you get color from white light? Sir Isaac Newton studied light with a prism, a thick piece of glass that refracts light. When he passed a beam of white light through the prism, he saw a band of rainbow colors. He called the color band a spectrum. Newton wanted to know more about the colors shown by the prism. Where do they come from? He thought that white sunlight might actually be a mixture of all the colors. The prism simply spread the colors out. As the colors passed through the prism, the path of each color was bent at a different angle. The ray of red light bent the least. The ray of violet light bent the most. Newton wondered what would happen if the spectrum from one prism were passed through a second prism. He predicted that the colors would combine again and they would become white light. Newton's predictions proved to be correct. White light really is made up of many colors, including red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Pause this recording to fill out the blanks in your study guide. Page 301. Rainbows. The colors of a rainbow you see after a storm are a spectrum, too. Water drops in the sky can act like prisms. Sunlight shines through the drops. The drops bend each color of light at a different angle. The colors spread out, and a rainbow appears. You can find rainbows in many places, even the water from a fountain. Look at the fine mist from a fountain or a hose. If you stand with your back to the sun, you will probably see a rainbow form. Stop and think. What causes a rainbow to form? Suppose that you used a prism to separate white light into colors. How would you change the colors back to white light? Think about what you read on the previous page. Page 302. How do colors look in colored light? Did you know that the color of an object depends on the color of the light hitting it? A color filter is a material that absorbs certain colors of light and allows other colors to pass through. For example, a colored plastic sheet can be a color filter. A filter can change the color of the light on an object and the colored light may change the color of the object. Try shining a flashlight on a red tomato. Use a red plastic sheet as your filter. The red filter allows only red light to pass through it. The tomato will still look red. If you use a green filter, it will absorb all the colors of light except green. Only green light will reach the tomato. Because the tomato can only reflect red light, it will look black. If you mixed equal amounts of red, green, and blue light, you would get white light. The tomato would look red. In fact, all the colors of the spectrum can be made by mixing proper amounts of red, green, and blue light. For this reason, red, green, and blue are called the primary colors of light. Seeing Colors our eyes have special cells that react to colors of light. Some cells react only to red. And others react 
only to green. Still, other cells react only to blue. When your eyes are struck with equal amounts of red, green, and blue light, all the color cells in your eyes react. As a result, you see white. However, if only red light and green light enter your eyes, only the cells for those two colors would react. As a result, you would see yellow. Different mixtures of red, green, and blue light cause the eyes to see different colors. Take a look at the picture up top. When equal parts of red, green, and blue light are mixed, they form white light. When equal parts of cyan, magenta, and yellow materials are mixed, they absorb all the light and they appear black. Page 304, what happens when color is reflected? When light strikes an opaque object, some of the light is absorbed and some is reflected. A pigment is a colored substance in an object. Each pigment reflects certain colors of light but absorbs other colors. The reflected colors mix to produce the color of an object. Think about our activity in the science lab where we studied our gummy worms and the colors of paper to figure out what colors were being reflected and what were being absorbed. Many leaves contain a pigment that absorbs red and blue light but reflects green light. When you look at these leaves, your eyes see only the green light the pigment reflects. The leaves look green. Some materials reflect all colors. These materials appear white. Other materials absorb all colors and appear black. Clear glass and plastic are transparent. Remember, transparent means you can see through it. And opaque, that's thick. That is absorbing a lot of light and reflecting light. Opaque is thick. You cannot see through it. Clear glass and plastic are transparent. They allow light to pass through to the other side. A transparent object appears to be the color of the light that passes through it. So if something is transparent, then light can pass through it. If it is opaque, light cannot pass through it. Transparent materials appear to be the color of light that pass through it. Look at your book on page 305. Let's review. White light is a mixture of many colors. Drops of water can separate the sunlight and form a rainbow. The color of an object depends on the color of the light hitting it. The colors of light reflected by an object mix to produce the color the object appears. So think. What gives an object its color? Take some time to go back through these pages and make sure you have all the best answers to your science study guide.